Hello, Antonio. Welcome. Don't worry, it's okay. It's raining here as well. It's it's really hard. Estoy viendo recién por todos lados. No tenga pena. Okay, so we are going to start a little bit on what we are going to do today. Okay, I am going to start. I'm going to give you a little context of what we did yesterday so you can actually listen a little bit. Yesterday we were working on different daily routines. So we practiced um, with a reading. We were doing a reading yesterday and we were basically practicing uh, how to express daily activities. We were talking about the things that we do in the morning, the things that we do in the afternoon, and that's basically what we were doing. Yesterday, we were practicing on a reading. I am going to show it to you. Okay. Let me open it. We are, okay, we were working on this one. Let me show you. Hello, Ilse, welcome. Hello, hello. Hi, Ilse. Is it raining near your house? Está lloviendo por tu casa? No, teacher, acá no. Ah. <laughs> y aquí se cae el cielo. <laughs> está lloviendo súper fuerte. Antonio nos comentaba que igual estaba lloviendo mucho por su casa. Esperamos que los demás se puedan conectar porque habían varios que estaban ahí algo atacados por la lluvia. Esta video de evidencia tenemos. Well, it, it, it is nice that you send me the evidence of what is going on near your houses. That's pretty good. I mean, we cannot do much, but it is good. Well, it's raining really hard there. We are going to start with something simple today. Meanwhile, everybody connects. Mientras todos los demás vienen y se conectan, vamos a trabajar nosotros. 
Okay, so we are going to work on the manual, right? And we are going to work on the different daily routines. We are going to start working on creating your daily routine. What do you do in the different times? So I am going to write, for example, here, since the moment that you get up at 5.30, for example, you are going to create what do you do? And you are going to write it on a simple verb. So you say, I wake up, okay? Then you are going to say, for example, at 6 a.m., I take a shower. I take a shower. Then at 6.20, you are going to say, I eat breakfast. Okay, and you are going to start working on your daily routine, right? You are going to write your daily routine and all the things that you do in the different times of the day. I need you to take around 10 to 15 activities, okay? Van a escribir alrededor de 10 o 15 actividades que hacen durante todo el día en primera persona. And you say, for example, 5.30, I wake up. Six in the morning, I take a shower. 6.20, I eat breakfast. Uh, 7 a.m., 7 a.m., it's like I go to work. I go to work, okay? Si las horas no van de acuerdo a lo que ustedes hacen, ustedes pueden, pueden ir cambiando la hora a la hora que hacen ustedes las cosas, okay? And you continue. I go to work, I work, I take lunch, I have some free time. So you need to create your uh, schedule. Ustedes van a hacer todo su horario, desde que se levantan hasta que se acuestan. Okay? Son alrededor de 15, 20 actividades las que vamos a poner eh, en toda su daily routine. Okay? So let's start with that. Hello, Janet. Welcome. Ok, Janet, estamos haciendo nuestra agenda del día. Vamos a empezar desde la hora que nos levantamos, así como el ejemplo que les acabo de poner. 5.30 o la hora que usted se levanta. I wake up. I take a shower. 7.20, I eat breakfast. 7, I go to work. Y así siguen hasta la hora que se acuesta. Okay. So, work on that. Okay, if you have any question, tell me. Teacher, how do you say comer? How do you say salir? How do you say any question? Let me know.
Sí. Al chat les envié también unas imágenes que les pueden servir de otros verbos que podemos ocupar. And a reading that we are going to use later. La lectura la vamos a ocupar después. Okay. Hello, Catherine. Welcome. We are creating our daily routine. As you can see there, we are writing different activities on different times. So you can write the different times and the different activities. Esta la vamos a hacer en primera persona. Por ejemplo, 5.30, I wake up, okay? Just like that. Six in the morning, I take a shower. 6.20, I eat breakfast. Seven, I go to work. Así como se los muestro en el ejemplo. Y en el chat les envié dos ejemplos. Eh, de más actividades. We have to create around 15 to 20 lines. Okay, vamos a hacer alrededor de 15 a 20 oraciones, más o menos. Teacher, una pregunta. Yeah. Este, digamos, si de 11.50 eh, a, a 12.30 tengo mi, mi horario de almuerzo, digamos. So este, you stay. Uh -huh. so you porque can say. yo uh -huh. de, de 11.50... Eh, inicio mi, mi hora de almuerzo entonces Ajá. termina a las 12.35 entonces de 12.35 a 4.33 que, que, que salgo que termino mi horario laboral ¿cómo sería ahí? ok, I am going Digamos, to give you I am going to give you one example here for example here when you have from 11.50 to 12.35 I take lunch you say Okay, this is the first example. You put the period of time. So you put the period of time and you say, I take lunch. And from, imagine from one to 
I continue working. Okay, you can say I continue work. And then, for example, at four, four forty-five. Imagine four forty-five. I take the bus. Okay, and then you can continue. I arrive home. I cook, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay. Okay, so you can put the periods of time. Pueden poner los periodos de tiempo pues, en los que pasan haciendo lo mismo, por ejemplo. Porque no vamos a poner 11 work, 12 work, 1 work, 2 work, 3 work. So it's just like okay. nonsense, right? No le vamos a poner desde las 8. 8, 1, 9, 10, 11, 12. Work, 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 work. No. Entonces ponemos el periodo de tiempo. Ok, thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. In that case, at, at from seven to nine, so you say I study English or I receive classes. You can say, uh huh, I receive classes. You can say, I receive classes. Or you can say, I study. Both cases are correct, right? I receive classes or I study English, okay? You can write both, yes. I am going to advance with the questions, right? Voy a ir avanzando con las preguntas que vamos a practicar con eso mientras ustedes terminen. Yep. Yes, Anthony. Yeah. 
Do you finish? Terminaste. Okay. Good, 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 good. Okay, I am going to. Okay, can you send me a picture of your answers? Mandale, mandame una foto de lo que escribiste, así lo podemos ir corrigiendo. Okay, so as soon as you finish, send me a picture. Okay, cuando vayan terminando, me pueden ir enviando la foto para, eh, para que yo los vaya revisando. Okay. As soon as you finish, please send me the picture. So we are going to move a little bit here. I am going to I am going to move the questions into the board. Me voy a mover a la pizarra. Here we go. And I have the questions right here. Excellent. And so we can have the chance to actually explain what we're going to do. And I go here. Great. So I have different questions that we are going to use please send me the image of your daily routine so I can correct. Send me the image so I can correct all these sentences. You can send it to the chat, okay? Thank you. I got the first one. Thank you, Antonio. <laughs> sí, me imagino. Sí, ahorita está todo raro el internet. Es por la lluvia. Pero ya va a pasar. Ajá. No, si acá, aquí está bien feo. Okay. Let's see. I También wake llueve. up. Uh -huh. También llueve. También llueve ahí. Sí, está lloviendo bastante fuerte. Siento que me va a caer un rayo aquí. 
Pero I'm ok, I'm ok. Es que la, la, la oficina donde doy la clase queda justo a la parte del patio. Entonces ah. ve, veo la ventana y veo todos los rayitos y me va a caer un rayo. Ah, es cierto. Entonces justo que va a la oficina está a la parte del, del patio. Eh, donde, aquí donde doy las clases y como, caen como los rayas ah. me, me va a caer un rayo pero no, estamos sirviendo aquí no. a la humanidad, no, no va a pasar sí. nada I take, a I take a shower I take a shower le faltó la A I go to work, I eat breakfast I start work I answer answer, quítale la S porque no puede ser answers, emails I answer I answer, sin ese, emails, y poneselo a, la, a emails, porque emails sí es plural. I have lunch, no dice, I have lunch, aquí les he puesto lunch, mira, aquí está, I have lunch, aquí está, I have lunch. The next one, I watch, I watch videos, videos, with S, I watch videos, In my cell phone. I watch videos in my cell phone. But in that case, you say, I watch videos on my cell phone. I, uh -huh, yes, on. I finish answering. I finish answering in this case. Ahí sí sería con ING por la naturaleza de la palabra. I finish answering. Y aquí lo ponemos. Sería así. Answering. I finish answering. Okay. I finish answering emails. Siempre con S. I finish work. I arrive home. I arrive. I arrive home. Eh, I watch TV. Watch. Okay. I watch. Le faltó la T. I watch TV. I study English, I have dinner, and I go to bed. Okay? So those were your corrections. Vamos a corregir a Ilse, que también me lo acaba de enviar. So let's go back here, and I am going to correct Ilse. Ilse. It says, okay, the first one, I wake up, I take a shower, I go to work, I arrive to work. I take lunch, I continue working, I take the bus, I arrive, I arrive, sería ese, en este caso. I am at home, ese está bien, pero ahí la, la cuestión sería, llego a la casa, okay? I arrive home. I cook dinner, I study English, and I sleep, I sleep, porque si me pones, I am going to sleep, es que ya te vas a dormir, okay? okay. I sleep, ok, siempre con mayúscula, I y obviamente sleep, ok, I sleep or you can say I go to bed, me voy a la cama, right, I go to bed, I go to bed, so that's the form, you can use it like that, very good job, so I have two, I am waiting for my other two students, today I have a super personalized class, Oh, Tati, hello, welcome. Hoy ya somos cinco. Hello, teacher. Yeah, hey, hey. Estamos en la clase VIP. <laughs> Super mega VIP class for only for you. Okay. Uh, Tati, we are creating our daily routine and we are using the different times. For example, here, uh, we were sharing this one. Este era lo que estábamos trabajando al principio. Give me a second to open it. It is right here. Yes. Okay. Give me a second to share with you. This is what we were doing. This is what we were doing. We were creating our daily routine with the different activities that we do. You have the examples of your friends, right? Ya tienes los ejemplos de dos de tus compañeros que ya lo terminaron y ya lo enviaron al chat. Okay, so you have to do around 15 to 10 activities, right? De 10 a 15 activities. Let's see. Okay, Janet, let's check. Revisémoslo, Janet. 
El primero dice, I wake up, that's okay. I take a shower, that's good. I eat breakfast, that's okay. I go to work, I go to bed, I start work. Okay, at 11, what time is lunch? What time is dinner? Uh, I watch TV in the evening, I study English. Okay, para los de la 11 p.m., las de los 11 a.m., perdón. 11 a.m. tendría que ser ahí, porque no comemos almuerzo a las 11 de la noche. Bueno, quién sabe, pero el hambre. A veces no tarde. What time is lunch? So, at 11, en donde dice las 11, póngale I take lunch. Aquí está el ejemplo, mira. I take lunch. I take lunch y at 6.50, ok, estamos aquí. Aquí tenés el ejemplo, mira. I take lunch. Y a las 6.50 tendría que ser, no sería, no sería lunch, sino que sería I take dinner. ¿Ok? A las 11 almuerzas, a las 6.50 cenas. ¿Ok? Correct those two, because the other ones were correct. ¿Ok? Nosotros estaban súper bien. Okay, solo corrige esas dos donde tienes preguntas porque ahí has puesto una pregunta y dice what time is lunch? ¿A qué hora es el almuerzo? ¿A qué hora es la cena? Okay, ahí quita esas preguntas. Creo que no nos han dado la cena. ¿A qué hora es la cena hoy? Huh. What time is lunch? Okay, so there you have Catherine. Ya me lo enviaste para revisarlo. No yet. Ok. So, the second step of what we are going to do, the second part, la segunda parte, lo que vamos a hacer ahora, it's right here, okay? The questions. We are going to use the questions. And I need you to copy the questions, right? Today, it's a lot of writing. Hoy era el día de writing, así que nos toca copiar un montón. I need you to copy the questions because you are going to use them. Copien la pregunta y dejen dos o tres renglones. Copien la siguiente pregunta y dejan dos o tres renglones porque las vamos a ocupar. ¿Ok? Si estuviéramos en una clase presencial, les doy la copia. <risa> ya escrita. Pero ni más. Nos toca copiar. No sirve para el spelling. So, eh, Copy the questions, please. Copy the questions. Ay, madre bendita. There you go. <laughs> ya la vio. <laughs> Copy the questions and leave two or three lines. Dejen dos o tres líneas de por medio porque las van a ocupar para las respuestas. Okay, the first question is, what is the first thing you do in the morning? What time do you go to work? What time do you start work? What time do you eat lunch? What time do you finish work? When do you eat dinner? What time do you finish class? And when do you go to bed? As you can see, I have used what time and when, because the two are useful for the time, okay? Podemos ocupar ambos, what time and when. When do you eat lunch? Ah, at midnight, at midday, okay? Or what time do you eat lunch? And then you can eat. Podemos ocupar ambos para referirnos a una actividad que hacemos en el día, okay? What time and when. 
Thank you, Katy. Revisemos. Okay, let's check. Revisemos juntas. Four, four fifty. I wake up. I take a shower. I take I take the bus. Okay, I take the bus. No, I take the bus. I sería de T H E. I take the bus. I have breakfast. I start working. Working. Uh, I take lunch. Good. I continue working. I arrive home. I cook dinner. I study English. I go to bed and I fall asleep. Very good. The only thing that we need to change is the bus. Okay. Catherine, solo eso vamos a cambiar. The bus. The rest is perfect. Very good job. Estamos haciendo un estudio de grafología. Hello, Edwin. How are you? Hello, Joanna. How are you? Les estamos analizando aquí la, la escritura a sus compañeros. Lo siento por la entrada, pero ahorita vengo llegando. Don't worry, don't worry. I know. But thank God you are there. Miren, lo bueno que llegaron bien, llegaron con bien, eso es lo más importante. Lo bueno que ya llegaron. Eso es lo segundo más importante. Con este gran tormento. Ok, what are we doing right now? Tal vez no vamos a empezar desde cuando empezamos con sus compañeros hace casi 40 minutos. Sus compañeros enviaron ya algunos ejemplos al chat. Si los pueden ver, me imagino que ya los fueron viendo. Creamos nuestra daily routine. Y entonces eso es lo que van a empezar a hacer ustedes en este tiempo mientras ellos terminan. Ahorita solo estoy esperando a Tati para ir ocupando ya las preguntas. Vamos a ocupar lo que sus compañeros hicieron como referencia. Pero si ustedes lo pueden ir armando ahorita, Edwin y Joana, es perfecto, ¿ok? And I am going to share with you first. Eso estábamos haciendo y esta fue la primera base. Okay, so for the primera part. So we have here, we start early in the morning, right? A que hora se levantan, and all the activities that you do in the day. Si se fijaron, sus compañeros ya mandaron los ejemplos. Eso es lo que estamos haciendo. So you have to take around 10 to 15 activities on about the things that you do on the day, right? From the time that you wake up, this is just an example, okay? Esas fueron solo horas de ejemplo que yo puse. Because you are going to use your time. So you say, I wake up, I take a shower, I eat breakfast, I go to work, I check the computer, I, I don't know, activities that you do on your day. What time do you finish? What time do you receive classes? What time do you eat dinner? Right? Everything has to be there. Tienen que ser máximo 15 actividades. Okay. Si tienen periodos de tiempo, for example, like the, the lunch. Okay. Irse nos preguntaba de tal hora a tal hora yo almuerzo. So you can write the period of time from 11.50 to 12.35, I take lunch. Okay. So you can put periods of time. Si haces lo mismo durante un periodo establecido, you can write the period of time and there is no problem. Okay. So try, try to work on that. And I am waiting for Tati to send me the information that you need to send me a picture when you finish okay you teacher. Have, you're welcome okay go, go. you have very good examples on the chat so for all the ones did you finish copying the questions ya terminamos copiar de copiar las preguntas <laughs> okay finish it was like i need a teacher Hoy era día de grammar, de todas maneras. Okay, aprovechando los que ya enviaron la daily routine y están copiando las preguntas. Mientras Edwin y Joanna crean su daily routine. I am going to call the attendance. Okay? Voy a pasar esta lista a todos los conectados. Pero miren qué admirable labor. Aunque estemos aquí nadando, están presentes. Qué bonito. 
damos clases de inglés y de natación. The two things. Okay, let me call the attendance. Let me open my attendance. Voy a abrir la asistencia. Give me a second. Hay un gatillo. Oh, oh, Alma Dalila. Okay. So I am going to call the attendance right now. Okay, Alma Dalila is not here. She had an issue with the family. Okay. Alba Leticia is not here. Okay, my dear students, I hope you finish coping the questions. It was Alba, the one with the problem. Okay. Christian has problems as well. My God. Estoy viendo todos los chats de, de, de por qué no están todos aquí. Let me know when you finish, people, please. I need Antonio Jose present, you say. Okay. Evelyn Steven. Presente. Evelyn Janet. Yeah. Janet Tatiana. Y se me perdió Tati. Ok, Tati was here. José Heriberto Reyes. He's not here. Catherine Elizabeth Romero. 
Catherine Lisbeth Solórzano. Present teacher. Leticia Magdalena Ortiz. Ilse Marlene Castillo. Present teacher. Luz de Jesús. Está Luz así. Y Joana María. Okay, I have my students. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, and me, eight. Thank you for your answering on the attendance. Very good. So let's continue. Let's continue right here. Now that you finished, I am going to check um, Janet. Janet, let's see. And I have it. Hi, Tati, again. Let's check. The first one says, I wake up, I take a shower, I eat breakfast, I go to work, I start work, I take lunch, I finish work, I arrive home, I cook dinner, I study English. English, con mayúscula. I brush my teeth and I go to bed. Very good, Tati, excellent job. Now that we have these examples, now that we have these examples, please, Edwin and Joanna, when you finish, you can send me a picture so I can check, okay? What are we going to do with the questions, okay? With the questions, we are going to work and I am going to answer different questions. I'm going to ask different questions and I'm going to ask different people. What are you going to write on your notebook? You are going to write the third person form. Let's take an example. I am going to ask the first question to Ilse Marlene. What is the first thing you do in the morning, Ilse? What is the first thing that you do in the morning? What is the first thing that you do in the morning? What is the first thing? ¿Qué es lo primerito que haces en la mañana? What is the first thing that you do in the morning? I wake up. Okay. I wake up. ¿A qué horas? Five. Okay. So you say, I wake up. I'm going to write the answer here. I wake up. At 5 a.m., ¿ok? Pero esa es la respuesta de Ilse. Si nosotros la vamos a reportar, ¿cómo la tendríamos que hacer? Si ustedes me la van a reportar a mí, ¿cómo la tendrían que hacer? Hablamos de Ilse. She. she Ajá. So you say she. Wakes up. She wakes up at 5 by am am right she wakes up at 5 am and that is what you are going to report okay la persona le va a responder con lo que tiene en la información pero ustedes van a escribir reportándole so you say he wakes up she wakes up she takes a shower she goes to work okay in third person Let's do the second one. Antonio, what time do you go to work? Uh, I go to work at 7 p.m. I go to work at 7 a.m. Okay. I go to work at 7 a.m. Esa es la respuesta que nos da Antonio. ¿Cómo la reportamos? He goes to work. He goes to work. At, he goes at, to work at 7 a.m. At 7 a.m. So that's how you are going to report. Los que me interesan son las respuestas azules. Esta. She wakes up at 5 a.m. 
he goes to work at seven. Esas son las que ustedes van a anotar en su cuaderno. Okay? We are going to work in couples. Van a estar en parejas trabajando. Entonces se van a hacer la pregunta. What time do you go to work? Ah, I go to work at seven. Entonces ustedes van a escribir, she goes to work at seven. Okay? Le vas a preguntar, por ejemplo, what do you do in the morning? Ah, I wake up at five in the morning. She wakes up at five in the morning. That's what you are going to write. Okay? So, what you are going to write is this part. What you are going to write is this sentence. Okay? This is the sentence that you are going to write on your notebook. Because this one is what they are going to answer, okay? Eso es lo que le van a contestar, pero esto no lo van a anotar. Van a anotar la forma de reporte, okay? So, no questions? I think it's clear. The explanation is clear. You are going to be in couples. Van a estar en parejas, okay? And for sure, you are going to be answering the different questions. Did you copy the questions? ¿Ya copiaron las preguntas? Yes, no? No yet. Okay, I will take a picture of them. Le voy a enviar una foto para los que no las han terminado. Okay. Okay, Edwin, I am going to check yours. Te voy a revisar tus oraciones. I wake up, I take a shower, I go to work, I drive to work, I eat breakfast, I have lunch, I finish work, I arrive home, I study English, I watch TV, watch, con TCH. I have dinner and I go to bed. Todas están lindas, pero ninguna tiene punto. So, let's see, I am going to send the picture of the questions. Okay, there we go. The... <laughs> okay. Yeah, and watch. Todas están lindas, pero les falta el punto, I said. They are not complete, okay? There you have the questions. There you have the questions and I am going to send you to work. Lo voy a enviar a trabajar ahorita. Y les hacen la pregunta a su compañero. Su compañero responde y usted escribe el reportaje. Yes, Edwin. Eh, yeah. El que hace la pregunta... Uh, 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 Respondemos en tercera persona. Y en... No, 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 no. Bueno, si yo te pregunto a ti, por ejemplo... What time do you go to work? Tú me respondes normal. What time do you go to work? Uh, okay, I, I go to work at... Uh -huh, at 7 a.m. At 7 a.m. Lo que yo voy a escribir es He goes to work at 7 a.m. Okay? Yo voy a escribir tus respuestas. De ahí tú me vas a preguntar a mí. Nati, what time do you go to work? Pregúntame a mí. What time... Ask me, ask me. Uh, what, what time do you go to work? I go to work at six. Ah, she so, goes, uh -huh. she goes to work at six. Eso es lo que vos vas a escribir en tu cuaderno, porque vos vas a reportar mi información. ¿Cuándo regresemos? When we come back, like in Código 21. When we come back, you are going to talk about the person in your group, okay? You are going to talk about the person in your group and you're going to say, okay, Antonio, tell me about Joanna. And you're going to say, okay, Joanna goes to work at seven. She cooks, she does this and that, blah, blah, blah. You are going to talk about your friend and your friend is going to talk about you. Okay, that's what you are going to report. Let's go to the groups. I have three groups. Go ahead. So all the students are in the different groups and they are answering the questions to practice 
the daily routines information. Let's go and see how they are doing. Cayó la sexta. Yo la octava. Está buena, sí. Vale. Yo hago la. What is the first thing you do in the morning? Ya tienes que dar tu respuesta. Eh, espérate que no te escuché nada. Ah, pues ahora pues, otra vez te lo voy a decir. Eh, I am wake up at 5 a.m. Ok, I am wake up. No, ¿cómo la tenías escrita? Yeah. I wake up, ok. I wake up. Wake up. Ajá, wake up. Ajá, ya ven, Ajá, vos, wake up. vos mismo te estabas haciendo tanto. I am wake up. No, I wake up. Okay, I wake up. Déjame escribir tu respuesta. Exactly. So you say he. He wakes up. Very good. La solo la tengo que escribir de este yo, verdad? Ya este no la tengo que poner. No, 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 only, only third person, only ah, okay. he wakes up, yes, ah, okay. that's the only thing, yes, only third person, because in the end you are going to create a little paragraph, so, in the end what you are going to do is to have a little paragraph, so you say, Antonio wakes up at seven in the morning. He goes to work at five, blah, blah, blah. So you're going to have a little paragraph about your friend. Continue, continue. Mm -hmm. okay. And what time do you finish work? Um, I finish work at Four, thirty, 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 thirty. No, thirty. Four thirty. Thirty. Very 30. good. Thirty. 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 Uh, I finish at. I finish work at uh, four thirty-three. At 4.33. Tati, hello. We are answering the questions. Estamos respondiendo las preguntas, Tati. No sé si nos escuchas. Ok, teacher. Okay. Tengo problemas con internet y por eso me desconecto. Don't worry, don't worry. Entonces, te puedes quedar oyendo y viendo cómo están haciéndolo tus compañeras para que puedas tener la idea. De acuerdo. Ok, good. I'm going to check the next one. Voy a ir al tercer grupo. Okay. 
imposible de ganar de los equipos dobles. Precisamente por esto es que es el único cameraman que está de brazos cruzados. Creo que no le gusta la idea de estar esperando. No sé si, Janet, tienes la televisión encendida. O es algún video o algo. La tele, creo que. Ajá. Ajá. Janet. Janet. No, yo es que le, yo le puse silenciar por el, por el, ah, ah, por... Por el audio. Ok. Es que lo que sucede es que de repente cuando ya se sube el video a YouTube, si el video detecta algún audio de una canción, la tele, cualquier cosa, lo pone como que nosotros le hemos puesto el audio y nos vete el video. Ah, okay. Por derechos de uso. Era la tabla de los niños. Ah, sí. Y como el micrófono a veces es bien sensible y pueda que no sea la par suya, pero cabal agarra el sonido. Thank you, Janet. Okay. Bye. Did you did you answer the questions? Eh, ahorita por la tercera vamos. Okay. Pero... Okay. Vamos con la número cuatro, Janet. Okay. Eh, teacher. Yeah. Acá, eh, digamos. Yo le hice la pregunta número tres a ella. Ella me va a hacer la número cuatro a mí o las dos las vamos a contestar. Ok, the idea is that you answer all the questions. That you answer all the questions and that Janet answers all the questions, ok? Tú tendrías que entrevistar a Janet con todas las preguntas y ella a ti con todas las preguntas. Porque ah, okay. al final, al final ustedes van a tener un pequeño párrafo. And you are going to say, ok, Ilse. Ilse oh. wakes up at seven in the morning. She goes to work. Ta, 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 ta. You are going to create the information about your friend. So that's what you need to answer all the questions. You need to contestar las dos. Ah, ah okay. Desde la número uno, entonces. ¿verdad? Yes. Yes. Ah, okay. Okay. Gracias. I will continue. Hello again. Hello, for my American friends. Did you finish with the questions? I did. <laughs> no, but it's okay. I mean, I, 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 I care about something good. Okay. Lo importante en ese ejercicio es que lo hagan bien, no que lo hagan rápido. So, because you are going to use it. Este es un ejercicio como de secuencia. Empezamos con las daily routines, después vamos con preguntas, después vamos con esta entrevista, después vamos con un párrafo. So, it's like, it's a lot of different steps. Tenemos diferentes pasos. So, don't worry. Ajá. Uh -huh. ¿Verdad que aquí en WhatsApp you at lunch? Cuando pasa tercera persona, pasa get lunch. Ah, he gets lunch or he has lunch. You can say has or gets. He has lunch is the most common one. He has lunch. Okay. Yep. Sí, sí. Did you finish? No yet. ¿Ya yes, se entrevistaron yes. las dos? ¿Ya tienen la respuesta las dos? Yes. Okay. So, what we are going to do now, you are going to report in a little paragraph. Then you are going to say, okay, my friend Joanna, she wakes up at seven in the morning. She goes to work at five. She does this and this, and you are going to practice how you are going to report, okay? La última parte de este ejercicio es practicar cómo reportar. Porque vamos a ir a hablar allá 
a la main session de su compañero. My friend Catherine. My friend Catherine works at Haynes. She wakes up at five. She goes to work at seven, blah, 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 blah. So you have to organize your answers, okay? El paso okay. final es organizar su párrafo. Cómo van a hablar de su compañero una vez regresemos, okay? This is a little bit more individual, but you can practice, okay? Let's work on that one. I will come back. Okay. ¿Qué hora termina de trabajar? A las 4 y 33 pm. ¿Cómo se escribe eso? A las 4 y 33 pm. ¿A qué hora salgo a trabajar? I finish work at. I finish work at. 4:33. Four thirty-three. ¿Cuánto es la noche nueve? No es nada que me decís. Yo ya te dije a las ocho y nueve. <ríe> ya comía en tu clase por eso. <ríe> ok, ok, go ahead, go ahead. At four thirty-three, right? No tiene que ser. No, 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 La última, o no, la última. What time do you finish your class? I finish class at 9 p.m. La otra no me dice que termina a las 9. Pero a mí yo sí quiero que llegues a la clase a las 9. Entonces a la misma hora hasta que no a la clase, voy a comer. Yo no quiero el tiempo. ¿no? La otra. Decímela. When do you go to bed? Tenemos tiempo. Creo que he tenido el tiempo. Okay, I am going to give you a couple of minutes. I think you are missing one, right? Le falta una. You are you are missing one. So please finish working. Finish, finish, finish. Okay. Oh my god. So try to try to answer, right? Porque, Antonio, ¿qué información lleva de Edwin? Any. Any of them, oh my God. Creo que nos confundimos, creo que no No, but it's okay. But at least one of you has information. Al menos uno de ustedes tiene información. Sí, la tengo toda la vez. Okay. At least one of you has information. Good. Let's go back. Vámonos, pues. Let's go back to the main session. Me lo voy a llevar de regreso en unos minutos, un segundito ya. Okay, finish, 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 please. Ay, no, yo me confundí, fíjate, ahí disculpa. Ah, 
con lo que después de casi era. Ah, por cierto, la última. ¿A qué hora estoy dormido? Ah, la última. Eh, 10 p.m. Ah, ok. Ah, ok. Ah, ok. Ah, ok. Ah, ok. Ah, No, igual yo me confundí, fíjate, ¿no? ¿verdad? Yo pensé que. Ah, o sea, siempre ambos tenemos que tener información, vea. Yo creo que primero usted tenía que preguntarte a ti y después a mí, para tener la información tuya y vos la mía. Así creo que era. Ajá. Mira, y aquí es Goes. Goes to bed. Así es. Sí, Goes. Ah, Goes to bed. 10. Ahí está. Bueno, la ah, ya sé. Si quiere la mezcla, no lo sé. Para que no me quede anotada. Star Wars. La tercera, perdón. Creo que la, la, la segunda, donde dice: What time do you go to work? Esa era. So students just finish working on their questions and their interviews and the different activities we were doing. So I'm going to bring them back. They have one minute to come back to the main group. Welcome back, my dear class. Hi, hey, you have been working a lot today. Good, very good. What we are going to do, what we are going to do is to, can you listen to me? No? No me escuchan, si, no? Hello. Okay, good, 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 good. What we're going to do is to report about our friend. What does our friend do? So you are going to give me information about your friend. Edwin, can you give me information about Antonio? It's okay, it's okay. Give me information about Antonio. No, 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 just Antonio wakes up at seven he goes to work only the answers you are going to read only the answers para reportar en un caso como este lo único que usan son las respuestas okay y entonces ahí vas he go he wakes up at he goes to work he starts work etc okay. go ahead He, he wakes up at 5 a.m. Ah, continue he with goes, the next answer. Uh -huh. He goes to work at 6 a.m. A.m., a.m. He starts work at 7 a.m. A.m., mm -hmm. a.m. A.M. Okay, A.M. He has, has lunch 
had, como se dice una? One, at one. At one p.m. Good. He finished work at 40. 4.33. 4.33. He has dinner at 9 p.m. A.M. 9 a.m. Uh -huh. He finished class at 9 p.m. Okay, very good. He goes to bed at 10 p.m. He goes to bed at 10 p.m. Nice. Very good job. Very good job. Yo le, yo le digo a él que después de la clase a las nueve a comer rapidito, corre. Ya, yeah. corre, sale corriendo a, a comer. Very good job. Definitely. Excellent job. Excellent job, Edwin and Antonio. Let's listen to Joanna. Give me information about Katherine. Uh, my friend Katherine, uh, she goes to work at 6.20. Uh, she starts uh, work at 7, 7 a.m. A.m. Uh, she eats at 11 a.m. Okay. Uh, she finishes at she finishes work at 40, 4 30. 4 30. Uh, she eats dinner at 6 p.m. She finishes class at 9 p.m. and she goes to bed at 9 p.m. She goes to bed at 9 p.m. Important. At 9 p.m. When you say my friend Catherine. Okay, in that case, you say, my friend Catherine, she wakes up. No, you say, my friend Catherine wakes up at five in the morning. And then you continue. She does this and this, she does this other, okay? Because if you say, my friend Catherine, she wakes up, tenemos dos sujetos en la misma oración. My friend Catherine is she, okay? That's the only correction. But for the rest, it was very good. Thank you, Joanna. Congratulations. Catherine, go ahead. Tell me about Joanna. Hello, Jose. Hola, buenas noches. Welcome. My friend Joanna, she wakes up at 5.30 in the morning. She goes to work at 6 a.m. She starts work at 7 a.m. She eats lunch at 1 p.m. Mm -hmm. She finishes work at 4.33 p.m. She eats dinner at 5 p.m. She finishes class at 9 p.m. She goes to bed at 10 p.m. Okay, very good job, right? The same correction, right? My friend, Joanna. Y ahí ya decís la primera oración, vea. Entonces, en la primera oración siempre como que la unís. O solo decís, I am going to talk about my friend Joanna. My friend Joanna wakes up. Ta, 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 ta. Okay, sería como la introduction, right? I am going to talk about my friend Joanna. Joanna wakes up at five in the morning. And then you continue. But for the rest, it was very good. Excellent job. A clap for Catherine. Miss Ilse, tell me a little bit about Janet. My friend Janet wakes up. She wakes Ay, up. Ya no ocupemos el she. Porque oh. es la misma corrección. My friend Janet wakes up. Uh, wakes up. Um, 30 a.m. At 30. ¿A qué hora se levanta? 3.30. A las tres y media te levantas, Janet. Oh my God. A las tres y media me voy durmiendo. <laughs> Sorry. 
Oh my God. At 3.30. Okay. Good. Continue. Continue. She goes to work 7 a.m. She starts work 7 a.m. She starts work at? At 7 a.m. Mm -hmm. She eats lunch at 11 a.m. 11 a.m. 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 Porque si se decís 11 a.m. Es uh -huh. 11 soy. Right? 11 a.m. A.m. Uh -huh. She finished work at 4.33 p.m. P.m. Very good. She eats dinner. She eats dinner. Uh -huh. She eats dinner at 6. 30 p.m. 6.30 p.m. Uh -huh. uh, she, finishes, she finishes class at 9 p.m. At 9 p.m. Very good. She goes to bed at 9 p.m. At 9 p.m. Excellent job. And last but not least, Miss Janet, give me a little bit of information about Ilse. Cuénteme de Ilse, ¿qué hace? Your microphone, Janet. It's off. El micrófono. Ya no lo dio tiempo de contestar a ella, solo las niñas. Ok, it was the same with Edwin and Antonio, right? It was good. So, but now you know the, the idea, okay? So that was good. I am going to interview Tatiana. I am going to interview Tatiana because she has been here and she knows the different answers, right? Tatiana, what is the first thing, what is the first thing you do in the morning, Tatiana? Uh -huh. Voy a entrevistar yo a Tatiana. Tatiana, what is the first thing that you do in the morning? I wake up at 5 a.m. At 5 a.m. What time do you go to work? I go to work at 6.20. 6.20. What time do you start work? I start work at 7 a.m. At 7 a.m. What time do you eat lunch? I eat my lunch at 12.30. Uh, at 12.30. What time do you finish work? I finish, I finish work at 4.30. 33. Very good. What time do you eat dinner? I eat dinner at 6 uh, p.m. At 6 p.m.? And what time do you finish class? I finish my class at 9 p.m. Very good job. So, there you have the examples of the questions. Today was a day full of grammar, right? And... That was the main idea. La idea del día era practicar grammar, practicar oraciones, and for sure, it was very, very useful. So, I am going to go here. Let me see. Here, let me share my screen with you. So, we're going to finish with this uh, little answers we are going to answer these questions how do you answer the first question imagine that i say hi students how are you how would you answer here la primera como que le falta aquí if i say hi students how are you hello i am fantastic what is missing there 
make it logical. Hello, students. How are you? Hello, hello, Hi, teacher. Hi, hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Very good. Hello, teacher, because I am asking you, right? Tell me, do you play soccer? You have two options. Yes, I do. Or no, I don't. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay, Janet, do you play soccer? Janet, go to football. Not. Ah, so you say no, I don't. You see, yo he armado el partido aquí. No, I don't. Right. Very good. Yes, aquí estamos. Okay, armado el partido. Sí. Oh. Okay, so you say, Ilse, do you play soccer? Yes, yes, I do. Joanna, do you play soccer? No, I had you. <laughs> I had, I had it. <laughs> Oh, exactly. Oh, my heart. Oh, my God. Ah, I hate you. Oh, I hate soccer, you say. Ya ven como el inglés es bien peligroso. Tenemos que ser bien cuidadosos con la palabra. I hate you. I hate. I no, hate. I, hate, I hate soccer. I hate soccer, okay. I hate soccer. You don't like it at all. When you say, no, teacher, I hate soccer. Es que, ah, I know what that is at all right you don't like it so that's good that's a good answer jose reyes do you play soccer yes i do okay antonio jose do you play soccer uh, no i don't no, edwin I don't. do you play soccer yes i do okay tatiana no i don't no i don't and Catherine. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay. How do you make the question to me? Teacher. 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 No, I don't. No, I don't. I think I am not very friend of this games, right? Yo puedo estar en el público y ahí me cae el pelotazo. I am a very bad luck girl, right? Yeah. Yo puedo estar en el público, en los espectadores, y allí me cae la pelota. I don't know why. Tengo el karma. But I like to play basketball. I, um, I, I like to play basketball. I am, yes, I am. I am, I am bad at basketball, but I like. Tell me, do you use, do you use the computer at work? Do you use the computer at work? No, yes, I, I do, or no, I don't. No, I don't. Yes, I do. I do. Yes, I do, right? What do you use the computer for? ¿Para qué usas la computadora en el trabajo? Um, uh -huh. Yo la uso para digitar las docenas. Okay, para digitar. Okay, good, very good. Who else uses a computer at work? ¿Quién más utiliza computador en el trabajo? Only Catherine. Tatiana, what do you use the computer for? ¿Para qué la usas? Para hacer reportes. Okay, to create reports, right? To create reports. Very good. Tell me. Ask me the question, Jose, what do you use the computer for? Para que la utilizas. O es otra eh, para hacer reportes también. Okay, to create reports. Very good. Ask me the question. Ask me the question. Sure. Uh, do you use the computer for? Yes, because I am here with you. I use the computer. I use the computer all the day. Okay, lo uso todo el día para hacer reporte, para hacer cosas y todo. And at night, to teach the class. Okay, I use the computer all the day, every day, all the time. It's so sad. Tell me, do you have dinner at 7 p.m.? Do you have dinner at 7 p.m.? No, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. What, no, I don't. what do you do at no, 7 p.m.? 
What do you do at 7 p.m.? I study English. I study English. Very good. I study English. Okay, I study English. That's why. The next one. Do you wake up at 5 a.m.? Do you wake up at 5 a.m.? Yes, I do. No, yes, I, I do. No, I don't. No, no I, I don't. don't. Okay. No, I don't. Tell me, do you exercise? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, right? I do. Yes, I do. No, I don't. I, no, I don't. You said no, <laughs> I don't. Yeah, that's good. Okay. He is very honest, right? I know. No, I don't. Right? And, and it, is, it is important, right? Yo siempre les digo, uno nunca corre, pero si me ven correr, corran, porque algo está pasando. <laughs> yeah, yo, yo nunca corro, pero si me ve corriendo, corran. So, do you take the bus? Yes, I do. Yes, yes I, I do. do. Ajá, José, and yes. you say that you don't exercise. Do. Usted dice que no se ejercita. Y cuando el bus lo yes, va a uh -huh. Yes, I do. <laughs> you go behind the bus, right? Yes, I do. Do you shave every day? Do you shave every day? No, I don't. <laughs> no, I don't, right? In the morning. <laughs> shave, okay. But shave in general is como rasurarse, ya sea el rostro. Yeah, las chicas sí se rasuran, no sé, las piernas. It's no sé, like medium. Right? It's the, it medium. depends, right? Too. It depends, right? It depends on that. But shave specifically is for the men, right? In the morning when they take out the beard, right? Do you shave every day? No, I don't. Or yes, I do. Okay? Antonio con esa barba espesa que tiene. Quiero ver, Steven. Es que se me hizo Steven. Steven, ¿dónde estás? Perdimos a Steven. Y José, con esa barba que tiene también. Espesa. Todos los días. So those are the questions. Very good. I have here a character. I know you know him, right? Conocen a este personaje, vea. You have Garfield right there. And I will start, I will start here, okay? Vamos a empezar por esta de aquí. Let me move it, right? And I will make it smaller. The first question. Can you help me to read the first question? Me ayudan a leer la primera pregunta? Does Garfield wake up early? early. Uh -huh. No, he, no, he no, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. He I does. know he doesn't. Because he hates to wake up, right? No, le gusta levantarse. Look at the time, right? He, he ruined the clock. What about this one? Does Garfield take a shower at 6 a.m.? Yes or no? Yes, I do. Yes, he does. <laughs> In that case, no. yes, he no. does. Because he's taking a shower, right? He's taking a shower right there. Yes, he does. What about the next one? What is the question? Does Garfield, does Garfield brush his teeth every day? Huh? Yes, he does or not, he does. Yes, he does. Yes, he does because he has his toothbrush right there, right? Yes, he does. Let's go with the next ones. We have some other questions right here. I am going to start with the first one right mm -hmm. here. What about this one? Does Garfield watch TV? Yes. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Yes, he does, right? What about the next one? Does Garfield cook dinner? Does Garfield cook dinner? Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Right. And he eats a lot, right? And the next one. Yes, he does. 
Es René Alonso. No, 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 he doesn't, right? No, no he, he doesn't. doesn't. He goes to sleep early because he loves to sleep. That's the first thing about Garfield, right? So basically, we have covered the first two sections and the third section of the manual, right? Si se fijan, ya hemos cubierto casi tres de las sesiones del manual. Let me just open here. And I have the third one, okay? We have covered unit number three as well, okay? Give me a second. Here you go, okay? Si se fijan, en estos días hemos cubierto también la sección dos y la sección tres del manual, okay? When we start with the questions, right? when we start with the questions in the WH forms. On Monday, we are going to work a little bit on the questions with WH, but for example, right here, and it says, where do you work? And in this one, we are going to work with the activities that you perform at work, okay? Esto ya, ya lo hicimos antes, pero vamos a hacer un pequeño repaso de las actividades que cada una de estas personas realicen su trabajo. We have production, research, purchase, marketing, and human resources. We also have accounting and finance. Production, you know what that is, right? El área de producción, where everything is created. Research and development, investigación y Desarrollo. ¿Qué hace esta área de trabajo? Purchasing, compras. Marketing, mercadeo. Human resources management, eh, recursos humanos. Accounting and finance is contaduría y finanzas. Here you have the different names of the sections. I need you to help me. What do they do? on each of them, okay? So that's what we are going to do. You are going to go back with your group, van a regresar con su grupo, y van a hacer el match de las actividades con el puesto. ¿Qué hace el área de producción? ¿Qué hace el área de compras? I need you to make a match, okay? I am going to send you the information right now. And you're going to make the match, okay? And you also have it in your mind. Let's work on this with your couples. Right now. Go to work. There you go. Ok, Ilse, te llegó la invitación a los grupos. En Joana, I don't know if you are there. Thank you. Ay, se me regresaron todos. Ok, I will bring you back. Anyway. Okay. Me los traje a todos de vuelta porque tuvieron problemas con la conexión. 
Let's see. Ya vienen todos de regreso. Let's work here. It's better. So there you have. Let's work together. What does the production area do? The research and development, the purchasing, the marketing, the human resources, and the account. Okay, I brought you back because... Everybody had internet issues, right? Okay. Nos estaba dando mucho problema el internet y vi que algunos no se podían conectar, entonces me los traje de vuelta. Let's work together. What about this one? It says, the first definition. Who can help me to read the first definition? Who can help me to read the first definition? This one. Uh, research and, and identify what customers want and need at the right place. Very good. Research and identify what customers want and need at the right place. What do you think is the area that is in charge of that? ¿Qué área está encargada de eso? Research and identify what customers need and want at the right place. Human research. Mm, human research. Let's analyze it. Research and identify what customers want and need at the right place. Lo que los clientes quieren y necesitan. Number two. Okay, so we go research, research. and develop. Okay. What, what is the meaning of research? research? Research is investigación y desarrollo. What about the next one? Recruit, select, and train new employees for the right job in the company. Recruit, que es reclutar. Recruit, select, and train. Okay? Reclutar, seleccionar y capacitar. Who does that? ¿Quién hace eso? Human resource. Human Resource Management. Okay. The next one, it says, keep the financial records of transactions involving monetary inflows and outflows. Accounting and finance. And finance. And finance, because they keep the money uh -huh. of the company, right? Teacher, what is the meaning in flow? Okay, that's a good question. Like, keep the financial record. Of, keep the financial record of transactions involving monetary inflows and outflows. Inflows is all the money that enters to the company. And outflows, it's all the money that goes out. So, ah, my God, wait, wait, wait. That's the difference, right? Inflows is todo el dinero que entra. Y outflows, todo el dinero que sale. Entradas y salidas de dinero. Okay, inflow, entradas de dinero. Outflows, salidas. The next one. Control and supervise the production, workforce, and inventory. Production? Production. 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 Very good. Production. No. Production. 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 
It sounds beautiful, production. Develop, design, new or improve existing products, products or purchase or processes. Marketing. Marketing, right? Okay. Develop, design, new or improve existing products or processes. And here we go. Marketing, because they develop, design, or improve existing products. Let me see. I think we need to make a change, but I will see. Okay, and the last one, buy and acquire raw materials, production equipment for the use of the organization. Purchasing, right? Purchasing, compras. Buy and acquire raw materials. Raw materials son los, la materia prima. Production equipment for the use of the organization, right? So now we have here the first one, the first one that we had said research and identify what customers want and need at the right place. Research and develop. Develop, design new or improve existing products or processes. That will be, I think we have to change this one. Tenemos que cambiar esta y esta. ¿Por qué? Porque quienes desarrollan, quienes diseñan, o, oh, ah, no, it was okay. It was marketing, sorry. <laughs> sorry, it was my bad. It was good. This is correct. Ustedes estaban bien. Yo andaba queriéndoles cambiar el mundo. So that's it. What is production then? Production is to control and supervise the production workforce or inventory. What is research and development? Research and identify what customers want and need at the right place. What is marketing? What is marketing? To develop, design, new or improve existing products or processes. What is a human resources manager? What is human resources management? To recruit, select, and train to new recruit. employees for the right job in the company. What is accounting and finance? It is to keep the financial record of transactions involving monetary inflows and outflows. So those are the different areas, right? These are areas of the administration of a company. All the companies have the different areas, right? La mayoría de compañías tienen todas estas áreas. Tienen ventas, tienen marketing, tienen human resources, tienen accounting. Desde lo más chiquito hasta lo más grande. Si ustedes tienen una tienda, por ejemplo, si ustedes tienen una pupusería, en una pupusería existe la production. ¿Sí o no? ¿Existe production en una pupusería? Yes. ¿Existe yes. research and development? Uh -huh. yes. Ah, la que va a las otras pupuserías a probar las pupusas. A ver si son igual de buenas. So, compras. Yes, because yes. you need the yes. material, right? You need the material. Marketing. Yes. Yes, yes right? What happens? So like, aquí está mi WhatsApp. Ahí me las pide. And then they are creating marketing and they have this, right? And you have Niña Juanita there in the picture. Pupusería Juanita. And they are very famous. They have TikTok, they have Facebook, they have Instagram, everything. That's marketing. Maybe they don't have human resources. Aunque cuando ya la pupusería crece, ya la Niña Juanita es la encargada de recursos humanos. Ya contrata a otras pupuseras. So that's human resources and accounting and finance for sure, because they need to manage the money. Okay. So as you can see, all the different companies have all these different parts. Let's just go back here. These are the questions that I use today with you. Okay. 
Esas son las preguntas que empezamos a utilizar el día de hoy cuando yo les decía, what time do you get up? Where do you work? When do you take a shower, right? When do you go to bed? We have others, for example, how do, how do, it can be, for example, how do you go to work? How do significa cómo, cómo llegas al trabajo. How do you go to work? ¿Cómo llegas al trabajo? Do you go by car? Do you go, uh -huh. do you go by bus? By bus. Okay. How, how do you go to work? Okay. What time is a, a qué horas? Yeah. When sería similar, pero aquí lo ocupamos para cuando. Cuando. Dos horas de viaje. And then, oh, two hours of the bus. Oh my God. Yeah, I remember that. I remember that very well. Tu pasé 10 años en esa misma. Ya, yeah. trabajaba allá en Otico. Y yo vivo aquí en San Salvador. Y yo de cojute a, de cojute a, a, la, a la zona franca. Oh my God. So it's a long trip. The meaning of where. ¿Qué significa where? ¿Dónde? 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 Right? So the question, where do you work? Where do you work? It's donde trabajas. Oh. Where do you work? I work at the factory. I, I work at Haynes. At, I work at the company. And mm -hmm. when, when do you have classes, people? When do you have classes? I have classes I from have, Monday. I have classes. From Monday to Friday. Friday. From Monday to Friday. It means like I have classes every day. And how, I already explained, right? Ya les expliqué qué significa how. And what time, que significa a qué horas, right? What okay. time do you do? How do you answer the first question? Aquí tienen la primera pregunta. What do I do? ¿Cuál es la respuesta? What do I do? What is the answer? I, I supervise, supervise. The production workforce. Work work the production workforce. Okay. Todo el cuerpo de producción. The production workforce. Where do you work? I work. I work in the accounting department. In the accounting department. When do we go to meetings? We go to meetings two times a week. Okay, I go to, we go to meetings two times a week. Do veces a la semana. How do they plan the marketing? They, they investigate the customers' needs. They investigate the customers' need. What time do you take breakfast? I take, I take breakfast, breakfast at 8 a.m. 8 8 8 If I have this answer, right? Tengo esta respuesta. And I have it right here, okay? Wait, 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 wait. I have this answer. I have to write a report about the production every Friday. I have to write a report about the production every Friday. What question do you think I need? ¿Qué pregunta necesitaría para que me den esta respuesta? I have to write a report about the production every Friday. What, what do you do? Uh -huh. What do you do when? It can be, what do you do? Yes, pero ¿qué haces? Esa es la pregunta, ¿qué haces? What do you do? I have to write a report about the production every Friday. Tengo que hacer un reporte de producción cada viernes. ¿Cuál sería la pregunta para esa respuesta? I have one option. How often... <laughs> 
How often do you have to write a report? How often do you have to write a report? That's one question. And an easy question, una pregunta sencilla. What do you do? Como decía Joana, what do you do? Cuando? What do you do? Every day. Like. Every Friday. ¿Qué haces cada viernes? Ah, I have to write a report about the production every Friday. That's one answer, right? I work in the blue building. Yo trabajo en el edificio azul. I work in the blue building. What will be the question? Where do you work? Where do you work? Perfect, right? Where do you work? ¿Dónde trabajas? Right. Where do you work? Where do you work? I work in the blue building. Maria and I start working at 10 p.m. Maria and I start working at 10 p.m. Uh -huh. ¿Cuál sería la pregunta? At 10 p.m. ¿Qué me están preguntando? What time? What time? What time? What? What time do you do you start, start working? What time do you start working? Okay. I start Maria and I start working at 10 p.m. Pero me van a decir, teacher, ¿y por qué le pone you si son dos personas? You se puede referir a dos personas plural, pero si lo quieres hacer aún más específico, pones los nombres. What time do Maria and you start working? So you say, ah, Maria and I start working at 10. Okay, so that's one answer. We design and others create the new product. We design and others create the new product. What will be the question for this one? Nosotros diseñamos y otros hacen productos. We design and others create the product. What will be the question? ¿Qué me tendrían que preguntar para que yo les responda eso? What do you do? What do you do? Exactly like that. What do you do? ¿Qué haces? What do you do? Ah, we design and others create the products. And the last one, they have a meeting because we have to talk about the inflows and outflows. They have a meeting because we have to talk about the inflows and outflows. For this one, I will give you the answer. Porque esa no está incluida. I will say like, why do you have a meeting? Why is por qué? Why do you have a meeting? In this case, no podemos ocupar you. Sería en el caso porque en la respuesta tenemos they. Why do they have a meeting? They have a meeting because we have to talk about the inflows and outflows. The meaning of why, por qué. Okay, so we are going to work a little bit more on the WH questions. What, when, where, why, and who, okay? Aquí se la dejo para que las podamos investigar un poquito más, las WH words, okay? That will be on Monday, okay? We have normal class on Monday, and on Tuesday you have vacation, okay? A partir del martes ya, me imagino que empieza su vacation. But let's wait for the formal information, okay? Esperemos por la información oficial. Así que tengan right. una linda noche. Have a wonderful night and I'm going to see you on Monday. Practice your English, okay? okay. Have a good night, my dear okay. students. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, my dear students. Good night.